Well, happy holidays, you guys. This is Gretchen, and I have a ton of ornaments here. So I invited two of my friends over to help me with a project. I have Lynn and Mary at the table. So an interesting story about these ornaments, I had bought them a few months back because I planned to enter into a craft show and I wanted to pour over top of all of them and sell them. But as it turns out, I did not end up doing the craft show and instead all of my plans changed for November and we ended up going to Florida for a week. We went to visit some friends and honestly it's the best thing that I needed at that moment just for my sanity and I needed vitamin D and I didn't need to do a craft show so I have all of these ornaments on hand so I came up with this idea that we would paint on the inside of each ornament different colors different textures so that's what we're doing today and the goal here is we're making a project for our church friends we have a couple cute little trees in our foyer and I wanted to provide some ornaments so they could write one word on an ornament that describes what they feel most blessed about this year like what it's like a Christmas blessing ornament so what they're thankful for, what are they um, happy about, just something like a positivity type of project. Every week they get to write on an ornament. So I'm super excited for this. Um, we're having fun. We're trying to um, shake things up and move paint around inside. And it's actually a little harder than it looks. So some of the paints that we have to um, mix with water because they're a little too thick to move around. We wanted the paint on the inside so that when we write with a Sharpie on the outside, it won't mess with the paint. And then also I don't have to varnish or um, spray any of these ornaments on the outside. They're just plastic. So I hope that you um, like this idea and you can do it yourselves with your kids or your family or your church. But this is just something fun we wanted to do this evening at this moment in this time in 2023 so we are enjoying the process we do keep dropping things um, I have these wire racks here that are holding the bulbs so that they're upside down and the paint can drain out of them because there is a lot of paint inside each one so it can coat the whole inside hopefully um, so I'm letting them drip and I have some wax paper underneath so that the drippings will collect and merge and that way we can possibly have some cool paint skins when we're done. So we are collecting up the random paint colors as they go. So once it's done dripping, we're just putting them on the table and that way um, they can start drying a little bit on the inside. So I just got these from a cheap old store, if you're in America, Dollar Tree. <laughs> and um, I just figured, why not? A funny story is I was at the Dollar Tree and I bought these and I bought some vases and glass things and I just bought a lot of stuff. And I get a text from my husband when I was at the checkout and he's like, what did you buy for $95 at the Dollar Tree? <laughs> He's like, I don't understand. You're at the Dollar Tree. How do you spend that kind of money? Well, here it is. This isn't all of it, but this is some of it. So we kind of got to laugh about that because he's like, I don't get it. Oh, men. They don't understand our crafty needs. Well, maybe some men do, but, you know, men who don't do crafts don't get it. <laughs> So if you can stick around, I know it looks like a long video, but I do have um, the results of what they look like. I show you the drying process and I also show how they look when they're on the tree at the end and a few um, of our special friends who are writing on them. So have a wonderful couple minutes. I will jump on back here in a second just to um, explain a few things later in the video.
I would just like to give a special thank you to Lynn and Mary for coming and doing all of this work. Um, I would not be able to do all of these ornaments myself. This took us quite some time just with the three of us. And I'm so thankful for their help. They did such a great job for their first time working with fluid paints. And I love the colors. Don't you love all of the different variety of colors? Because you know, Christmas doesn't have to be all about red and green or silver. We have lots of colors so that when people write something on the ornament and they put it on the tree, after Christmas Eve, we're gonna let them take it home with them. So whatever color they chose, to use they can have it at the end of the month so thank you mary and lynn i hope you are enjoying this video as well share it with your friends and i hope you had a great time and thank you so much for helping me out so now we are two days later i have just let them sit in cups i've drained them so for the last two days i have been babysitting them i've been moving them around but look at the paint is still running inside the ornaments so literally every six to eight hours i would come and shift these bulbs so that the paint would kind of move around and, and try to stick to the inside of the ornaments and some of them like this one look at that these small ones actually didn't do so good they did not hold their paint they pulled up in just a little tiny puddle at the bottom so I'm going to spend a couple more days babysitting these some more, draining them, trying to get some of the colors to blend, and we'll see what happens. But um, I'm happy with them. They're homemade. They look homemade, but that's okay. This is just for fun. It's just a cute little activity. And in the meantime, I'm just going to work on these bulbs, make sure that they don't have too much excess paint and continue showing you all the fun colors. I love the green one. And then we have these that literally are just a pool of paint. So I have to shake them up and make sure that they have a little extra paint dripping on either side. Um, there are some that did crack and I think my solution for the cracked ones is to add a little more paint inside maybe gold or something that will fill in the cracked areas but that's just gonna happen these little bulbs were having some struggles <laughs> and they're just gonna be what they are so I'm just gonna keep draining them here and get some colors combined on this um, sheet where I'm gonna collect the skins All right, so these are just a few of the um, ornaments that are dry and finished. We have lots of dimension in them because the paint was continually rolling on the inside. This one's pretty cool. I love this one. I really like this one. This one had no problem setting up. So the paint was on the inside and some of them just didn't want to dry. It literally took about five days. This is one that I did, I really like this one. So I'm going to write on here. So my ornament says that I am thankful this Christmas for true friendships. And the reason I say that is I am old enough to know that friendship is very dear when it's real. There are a lot of people out there who say they're your friends, but honestly, they're really not your friends. Um, so be a friend, be nice, be kind, don't gossip, and always be true to the people you love. So our goal here, I, we have many more than what's here, but um, our goal is for people to write what they are thankful for that's why we put the paint on the inside and um, typically you would pour on the outside of a ornament but we did it on the inside so they could write on here and we have lots of cool colors 
Um, so I'm pretty happy with this little project we had. This one has some sparkle on the inside. We even have cute little uh, gingerbread men. So I'm going to put the tops on these and then once we have them all filled out, I will bring a camera in and show you how it looks. The final end result. And I am done. The last one that needs its topper. So thank you so much for watching and I am so excited to show these to everyone. New rider missed on the ball? Yes. Just the one word that you're thankful for. 